What's up guys, my name's Mitch. This channel's Mitch Makes. This project is a butterfly cage. Now, I'm no professional on keeping butterflies by any means. I made this for my daughter so that she can catch and release within a few days butterflies. She likes butterflies and lightning bugs. If you want to see how it's made, stick around. I'll show you. Okay, so I need to cut some strips that are one inch wide. This is three quarter inch stock. These will be 24 in the end and these will be 9 and 1 8. All right, so for the bottom plate, I'm going to cut this at 24 inches by 24 inches, and then we'll come in seven inches and cut the corners off. We should have a wood octagon or stop sign. Okay, for the top of this thing, this is three quarter by three and a half inch stock. I've cut the length on the outer edge to 10 and three quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and whip up an octagon for the very top. I'm gonna put some pocket holes in there, obviously. Before that glue dries, go ahead and clamp it down to that piece of plywood. Because I only used one screw in each one, this will help keep it level. So at this point I have all these little pieces around. Uh, the bottom was really easy, the top was kind of a pain in the butt, but I got them. And I'm uh, going to flip this over onto this uh, octagon that we made. Now the screws are facing up right now, my pocket hole screws, that way they'll face down on this and it should cover them up. I did put this on here and trace out a line uh, to give me an idea for where I want the glue. I'm empty. Okay, so I want to make the stand now. I've got a 4x4 four four here. It's got a nasty knot in this section, so I'm going to kind of work around that. So I was able to not use that knot. That's kind of cool. All three of these are cut at 29 inches. Worked out well that way. I had three. There it is. So here's a look at the uh, finished dado cuts. <clears throat> the bottom one just has 
one. I went ahead and put two on the top one just so that it gives the top 4x4 four four something to sit into. On this one, the top piece, I'm going to put a hole directly through the center so I can run a lag bolt up through this into the 4x4. Four four. And then I'll connect it to the bottom. So I went ahead and made myself a, a piece to connect to the pole to connect to the bottom of the butterfly cage. So I'm going to sit on the pole like this, then I'm going to run these screws up into the bottom of that. Here we go. Okay, let's build this door. I did half lap joints for the corners and a dowel. I put plexiglass in, I screwed it at the top and the bottom. And because it was scrap plexiglass and it was just barely wide enough, I went ahead and ran a bead of epoxy down it. Hopefully it's okay. And I used hinges. Okay, so I have the uh, door on. I put a magnetic latch in here. I just put a block of wood under it and glued it up. I also cut a piece of plexiglass for the top. I'm gonna wait until I stain this to screw that on. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and stain this. So I got a, an old screen door here uh, that's been broken and I've, I've kept it. I'm going to try to cut this screen out of this and wrap it around the butterfly cage. Okay, so I've got it pulled relatively snug. I'm going to flip this over and tape this off and uh, use a bead of silicone around the top and the bottom. Uh, just in case I ever need to replace this, I don't want it like permanently epoxied in or anything. I'm going to finish this thing up with some trim. I already had this trim laying around. I went ahead and stained it to match the bottom and the post and the top. This trim here, however, I'm going to go ahead and make.
Okay guys, so that's the build. Awesome, thanks for sticking around. Before you leave, I should note that uh, as I made this, none of these uh, eight sides are perfectly the same length. They're all off just a little bit. It all worked out okay. Um, the trim kind of hides everything, but as I cut these, you know, I would cut them in pairs and then and just shave what I needed to make them fit in between my verticals. Once that was done, it was pretty much cake work.